start with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness. And true happiness is the sort of thing that comes from inside, which means that your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's. So goodwill is an attitude you can spread all over the world with no conflict. The important thing is that you don't let other people's behavior affect your goodwill. As the Buddha said, you try to protect your goodwill in the same way that a mother would protect her only child. Don't let anything come and harm it. Because people are going to say things and do things you're not going to like. You can't let your universal goodwill suddenly change. It's all too easy to sit here when nothing's happening. Goodwill for everybody, it seems the natural thing to do. But then you run into difficult people. And you have to maintain the goodwill. That's a, those are the times when especially you have to maintain the goodwill, because the whole purpose of having goodwill is to make sure that you behave in skillful ways. So your goodwill has to have a good, solid foundation. The image they give in the canon is of a stone column, 16 spans tall, eight, excuse me, eight spans buried in the ground. And the winds come from the different directions, east, west, north, south, southeast, northwest, Northeast, southwest. It symbolizes the eight ways of the world. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status, there's disgrace. There's praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These winds blow all the time and they change directions very quickly. And they're part of the world. We can have a world where there's only status and gain and praise and pleasure. The negative side has to come too, and you have to make your mind really solid. This is why we do more than just spread thoughts of goodwill. We try to get the mind with the breath, make it solidly with the breath, so that no matter what happens, your mind is like a stone column. The winds can blow and blow and blow, but it, the stone column doesn't shake. Because what happens when you let these things overcome you? When gain overcomes you, then you start getting careless. When loss overcomes you, you get really depressed. Life doesn't seem to have any value at all. Same with status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. When the good side comes, we tend to get forgetful and complacent and start doing things that we shouldn't really do, but we have the ability to do them. I noticed when I was in Thailand, there were these farmers who lived near the monastery, and they seemed very content with their lot. Seemed to be happy people. And then someone came in and offered them a lot of money for their land. And all of a sudden you could see greed light up their eyes. They sold their land, they bought a truck. And then when they ran out of the money, they had nothing. When they had their land, at least they had a constant source of income. But without the land, they had nothing. You see what happens when greed, when you suddenly have the opportunity to buy something or get something you didn't have before. You have to be very careful. Is it really worth it? Same with status. When you have status, you have power. You've got to be very careful how you use the power. When people praise you and you become famous, you start saying and doing things that are careless. You feel you can get away with anything. And the same when pleasure comes. So you have to be very careful around these things. As for the negative side, you have to get careful about not getting depressed and not lashing back out of anger. So with these things, you have to be careful. You have to have a mind that's really solid, that realizes, okay, it's just winds blowing past, and the winds are going to change direction. And while you have good things, learn how to use them. When you have bad things come, learn how to use them, too. Learn how to think about it. When you lose your status or you lose your wealth, you find out who your real friends are. When people criticize you, as the Buddha says, sometimes they're actually pointing out treasure to you. In other words, a place where you can change your ways, improve your ways. So you don't let yourself get caught up with these things. In other words, you don't make your mind into a big sail that catches every breeze that comes past. Then you can get a good use out of them. It's like a windmill. The wind turns, no matter which direction the wind turns, the windmill can face it and get power out of it. So make your mind really solid. Give it a good foundation so that your goodwill doesn't get damaged by the winds of the world. And that way you have a treasure that's really valuable inside.